This is the beautiful Church of St. Augustine Church of Panglao Buho. It's located on southwestern side of Panglao Island, 18 kilometers or 11 miles from Tagbilaran City, the capital of the province of Buho. The church is noteworthy because of the twin antique confessional carb with grape and dove patterns. The church is also known for its ceiling murals depicting the sacraments. Above the hexagonal dome, its ceiling filled with the Holy Trinity surrounded by eight divisions of angels. Panglao Hall was established in an independent parish in, 18, in 1782, but recollect records show that they took charge of the town in 1803. The present church stands beside the ruins of the older church, probably one built by the Society of Jesus before the expulsion in 1768. Whatever remains of the older facade indicate that it may have been Baruch in design. This church was ruined before 1886 when it is reported the provisional church of wood and Tabik was constructed. Recollect Father Valentin Utandi started building the present Panglo Church in 1894 up to 1897 when he was transferred to another parish. Two other Spanish priests, Reverend Eugenio Hill and Reverend Father Pedro Jimenez, continued the construction slowly until 1898 when construction was abandoned. The Spanish priests assigned in Panglao have left. In 1912, Reverend Father Emiliano Veloso, the assigned parish priest, continued the construction with the cooperation of the church leaders, town officials, and residents of Panglao. A greater part of the nave was done in 1920 and by 1924. Though still unfinished, a four-day integration affair was scheduled with Bishop of Cebu. Juan B. Gorordo, celebrating the inaugural Mass and consecration on Sunday, August 31, 1924. Construction of the present church started in 1894 by Fray Valentin Utande until its completion by Padre Quiterio Sarigomba in 1925. The church contains one of the most unusual ceiling artwork conversation in the country done in 1920s. The neoclassical facade of the church has a typical portico, the Corinthian columns. The portico and bell tower both added later. Blend well with the original character of the church. A choir loft is found above the main entrance. The church is cruciform plan has had in extension to accommodate the growing parishioners. There are three richly carved retablos in the altar, one of the central nave and the two each arm of the transept. The main retablo facing the nave as the icon of the patron saint, St. Augustine, occupying the upper center niche beneath and to the left is the niche of St. Joseph and to the right, the Blessed Virgin Mary. To the rear of the ruins and some distance stands by the five-story bell tower, what's tower built in 1851. Octagonal in plan, covered by pitch roof. The tower is one of the tallest of its kind in the country. The tower is in a bad state and needs immediate intervention for its conservation. The church conflicts together with Convento, Watchtower, Plaza, Old Municipio, and Escuela de los Niños y Niñas were declared important cultural properties by the National Museum and National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Panglao Church was unaffected by the October 15, 2013 earthquake. Enjoy, and God bless you all.
Thank you.